Oh, yeah, it's Bini here. Today, I want to do a quick tip, a survival tip, right, on uh, how to use the MetaTrader 4. Uh, it is actually a very easy to use uh, platform, but some of you might find it a bit daunting, especially when you're new to it. So let me just share with you some of the uh, quick tips that uh, I've been using, and then this will get you started easily. Right, so let's uh, move to the panels, meaning that what are the panels that you are uh, likely to use. So on the left hand side is what we call the market watch. So that's all the symbols that you're going to see here. Sometimes some of your symbols will not be loaded. What you have to do is just to right click, use a mouse to right click and then press show all and then all your symbols will be loaded. Now the other one is your navigator. Now, this navigator is for you to see all your indicators as well as your account login, etc. Right? So, um, how do you activate Market Watch? On the top left, there will be this uh, button here. You can see that this is the button for Market Watch, but the shortcut is uh, Control M. You can use the shortcut. And then this one that's with the star is the navigator and the shortcut is control N. Now the other one which is at the bottom here, so that's called the terminal. So this terminal, you, you will see the trades that you have as well as your account history. Uh, what's important to some people would be the expert tab or the journal. So how to bring up this uh, trade terminal is to press this button here that, is, uh, that shows terminal or a shortcut which is Control t now the trade terminal shows you your existing trades all right so if you have existing trades remember to bring out your trade terminal or if you want to have a look into your account history then you can find that all the trades that you did before are recorded in account history all right so let's continue to move on what i like to do is i like to actually minify um uh, close this trade terminal because I don't want it to interfere my um, chart windows here. Now, if you look towards the right hand side, that's where your chart, all right? So, if you want to make your chart me, uh, maximize, that means to make it bigger, you can just press on this button here to maximize your chart. If you like to cascade that, so that's this uh, uh, arrange your windows as a cascading uh, style, and you can just press the small little four boxes here. Right, that has this four, looks like four boxes button. Right to the left, you're gonna find this plus and uh, minus. That's for you to zoom in and zoom out. Right at the bottom here, that's where you can start drawing uh, your lines or your boxes. Now, uh, one tip is you can right click on any of the uh, lines and then you can bring out this customized window here. Now with this customized window, once you click on that, you can bring in the other hidden tools. Let's say for example, you would like to draw uh, uh, a triangle, right? You can just bring the triangle to the right hand side by clicking insert or you can change the direct uh, the location of that triangle to be let's say below the rectangle and once you have done click close you can find that the triangle tools is actually shown here right uh, then to the right hand side would be your time frame so remember that you can press this to shift your time frame and then somewhere to the right most would be where you can insert your indicators and then this place is for you to choose a time frame and then this is a wonderful place for you to actually insert your template all right now uh, one tip is to move your mouse around all this icon then definitely when you move it near there it will pop up for example uh, a, a tip right which says that this is the icon for template right so uh, one 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 things I realized that a lot of time when you're using your chart you have a bit of difficulty is that sometimes when you um, you know look at your chart it's always okay, not at the right most okay let me just turn this one off uh, so for example, right, I'm actually here looking at some historical prices. I don't get to see the right most data. All right, how to do that? Uh, make sure you have activated this button here that says scroll the chart to the end on tick incoming. All right, so with this, you always be seeing your uh, right most of your chart, the most recent price data. All right, so you might also want to sh press this button here because it says that shift end of the chart from the right border. So when you shift this, right, you will shift it uh, left uh, 
from from the right to the left all right but it's just to recenter your chart okay now the other tip is that some of you might find that at the bottom here it's a little bit low you might want to adjust it in a bit of a tighter uh, look all right you can just move the scale here up and down to 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 shrink your chart or your price bar all right now lastly all right, a lot of people tell me that you don't have your connection and if you don't have a connection what do you do right so at this place here which is at this uh, bottom right you're gonna find um, there's this connection status here all right so at this connection status you can click on it all right and if you don't have any server or you don't have any connection you might want to actually rescan your server or you might want to actually re-log in okay now uh, so far this would be the very very quick tips right you have in terms of navigation but in any case that let's say at any one point you find that hey look suddenly I forget what I want to do right so my solution is always take your mouse and then right click when you right click you will bring up this particular shortcut uh, panel here right so this shortcut panel will definitely include almost all the things that you need all right such as to do your trading such as to bring out your indicators to change your time frame or to insert your template um, to arrange uh, your chart to zoom in and zoom out or to change the chart property including that you can actually print it all right so remember if there's anything that you do not know just have to right click on any place on your chart